Hello, I am Akari Shiro, and welcome to Dead or Alive 5 last round on the PC. This came out on Steam on March 30th, and I'm here to check it out to see uh, what's the deal with this game, and if it's a decent port or not. There's a lot of uh, mixed opinions on this game. So I'm going to go ahead and... Enter here, address a lot of the issues that a lot of people uh, might have with the game, uh, if it's worth even picking up. So, as a minor background, I am a pretty big Dead or Alive fan. I've played pretty much all of them. Uh, me and a friend of mine have played this game for countless hours. So I was really excited that uh, this one came out on the PC, because I never had the chance to play Dead or Alive 5. So, to start things off, uh, a lot of people were skeptical how well optimized this game was because of the system requirements, the minimum requiring a i7 for whatever reason. I have seen some people say that uh, they're running the game on lower-end CPUs perfectly fine at uh, 60 FPS. Uh, as for the FPS, it does seem to lock itself at 30 in the menus and cutscenes, but during the actual fighting, uh, it, it caps out at 60, and I have not seen it once uh, drop in frames. Like, it is always at constantly 60 FPS, so that's, that's good to know. Uh, this version of Dead or Alive 5 definitely has a lot of options. Uh, the controls, I am using a controller. I have tested uh, three different controllers and they all seem to work perfectly fine. So that was nice. I was uh, a little skeptical if the controller was going to work or right or not, seeing that this was pretty much the first Dead or Alive on the PC. So I've customized my controls over here. These are all very easily rebindable. I can rebind them to whatever button. Uh, I'm not using a 360 controller. I'm using a, uh, I'm not sure what kind of controller this is. It's just a PC controller, but it's working perfectly, perfectly fine. I have uh, used a PS2 adapter controller for whatever reason. That seemed to work. Uh, Logitech, that also worked. Uh, I imagine a uh, stick will probably also work. Uh, whoops. Didn't want to do that. What button was that? My throw. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I have heard that uh, if you want to play this game on the keyboard, that people remapping the keyboard uh, doesn't seem to be a thing. Like, I don't think you can actually remap the keyboard for whatever reason. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I will not be playing with the keyboard and I have no intention to ever using the keyboard for this game. I would suggest using a controller, but uh, I guess the keyboard is viable if you uh, want to set that up. Sound, luckily, uh, there is a... Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is the system voice. So this is like the, the narrator or something in the back, uh, like when you select things like just random things that are, that are set during the uh, combat. I've unlocked uh, Ayana's voice through uh, the combo training uh, language is what I think I want to go to. So you can choose uh, Japanese or English. And of course I want Japanese because I really do not like the English voices. Uh, subtitles you can have on as well. Uh, video settings, there wasn't a whole lot. There was a, uh, a config before entering the game. I don't think you can actually change anything in the actual game. I'm running at maximum settings and uh, I don't think it's very intensive for a video. Now as you can see here, the game did not ship with online support. And it, is, it is stated that uh, the online will come three, within three months of the shipping. So a lot of people are disappointed with that, including myself. I had intended to play this game with friends, but uh, if you want to play with friends, you can only do so on uh, the same machine. You can play uh, on the same computer, like I could be using the controller and a friend could be using a keyboard or something. Uh, I have not tried 
uh, multiple controllers hooked in. Training, if this is like your first fighting game, there is a crap ton of training in here, like way more than I've seen in any of the previous Dead or Alive's. So you got free training here, which uh, allows you to just kind of goof around. Uh, there's all the characters here from the previous Digger Lives, including a lot of new ones. Now, I never had the chance to play Digger Life 5, so I don't know. I know there's a few new ones that came with specifically uh, Digger Life 5, like this one here. There's a lot of uh, characters from other fighting games as well. I'm not really too familiar with those fighting games. I, I think... Sure, I know there's a few of them. I think she was in one of the Ninja Gaiden games. Like, Pai, I have no idea who that is. I have no idea where, who this is. I'm just not into a lot of fighting games. Dead or Alive was always uh, one of my main ones. And, of course, each character has, like, a slew of costumes. Uh, if you pre-ordered, there was a crap ton of uh, costumes to get with it. And uh, once you select a character... Uh, we'll just go with that. Now, what's interesting here is that you can also... With some of the characters, there are further customizations, like you can give them glasses or something. They have like lots of different hairstyles or something, uh, which is pretty new. That definitely wasn't in any of the previous Dead or Alive's. Uh, Pi has a pretty drastic uh, different hairstyle. I kind of like the shorter hair, so if I was to use her, I could switch that off. Now, not all of them have like the glasses, and uh, I'm not sure what detail is. And uh, there's also some random settings that you can choose, like uh, random obviously chooses a random character on the screen, and you can actually config what characters you don't want to be included into the random, which I thought was uh, pretty interesting. So, how does the game look? Well, I think the characters look pretty detailed, but the stages... Not so much. Like, I remember this one from, like, Dead or Alive 3, and it kind of looks like it may have came directly from Dead or Alive 3. <laughs> the textures aren't that great. I can almost count the polygons on the stages. They are not that great, in my opinion. I'm wondering if maybe there was a compromise there to keep the game running at 60 FPS. I guess this is uh, one of the Halloween stages or something. Like, we look at this one here, and the trees on this are just not very well detailed. They're very blocky, in my opinion. The water kind of flickers. There's certainly plenty of stages to uh, go through, and I know there was, like, some new uh, weird mechanic with some of the stages that you can, like, knock a person into or something. So there's definitely a lot of stages to choose from. I know there's a couple that weren't included that were in, like, the PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 version. I'm not too concerned about those because I don't even know which stages those were. So let's go ahead and choose one here. And, uh, well, let's go with random. Okay. So right now, I'm in a free training. So here you can just pretty much goof around, see what the, your buttons are. You can see the inputs there at the bottom of the screen. And uh, I think the character detail seems pretty fluid. They look nice, in my opinion, compared to the background sets and whatnot. Uh, it's running at a solid 60 FPS. And right now the PC, or uh, yeah, the, the NPC here, it's just going to sit there and take hits, but uh, you can easily set that up and uh, config what you want him to do. Uh, and there's like a crap ton of different configs in here. You can set his level. The higher he is, the, higher, the, the harder he'll become to fight. And you can just select what level you're comfortable with and just kind of train for a while. 
So if, and if you're having issues with uh, combos, there's certainly a lot of that as well. There's a uh, combo training, which is actually really cool. Will really help you uh, learn the combos. And I believe a lot of these stages have uh, breaking points or some, some, something. Which, whoa, what was that? Holy shit! <laughs> What the hell is that? I've never played on this stage before, so that was a first. <laughs> Some sort of giant statue here. It looks like it broke a bit of the platform here. But yeah, as I was about to say, uh, a lot of these stages have multiple uh, levels, so I'm going to see if I can knock them off into a different level. Uh, it doesn't look like I can here. So it's been a really long time since I played Dinner Live, so I am definitely rusty at the game. I'm trying to relearn. I've gone through a lot of the combo training and uh, just did a lot of free free training as well, fighting the uh, NPC here. And there's definitely a lot of ways to uh, learn this game. So that was the free training. You got command training here, which allows you... It basically goes through all of the... Uh, the commands against a uh, just a trainer. So here you have uh, the command you need to input at the top. Now you'll see these uh, kind of arrow keys on the actual like the punch and kick command. What that implies is uh, basically every attack that you throw in this game can mostly be countered. And that's telling me, like, the first two punches are high punches, and the third punch is a medium punch, whereas the last kick there can uh, be countered by a high counter or a mid counter, because it is a high kick or mid kick. And you'll see the list of commands there at the bottom. So, like, this one here is just very basic punch, 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 kick. <laughs> And then it goes to the next one, and basically you just go through all the emotions. And one thing you want to note, uh, like some of the characters have really hard combos, hard grabs. And I find half circles can be difficult depending on the controller you're using, or maybe even keyboard. And a good way to see uh, if your half circles are, uh, yeah, your half circles are going to be any good is by looking at the bar on the screen there and by performing one. You can see, like right there, I just screwed up a half circle because it didn't uh, do this input. And so that's on the pad there, and you can see that there at the bottom is a full half circle. And there, see, there's the uh, incorrect input. And I find uh, if if you switch on the analog, it's much easier to do a half circle. So that's me on the analog instead of the uh, D-pad. And I'm just able to do that full circle a lot easier. So a lot of times if you're screwing up a combo, you can just look there at the bottom seeing what you're doing wrong. Uh, some of the combos are really difficult to do. And uh, if you hit, there is a, uh, if you see it there up the top uh, right, you can do a view demo as well to see the combo in action so you can kind of get an idea what it's supposed to look like so now I can perform that and then it'll go to the next one and every character has a trainer so you can go through the combos on pretty much every character, trying to learn each one, uh, get a feel of each one. And uh, when you do that, I think you'll be able to perform better in combat and uh, be able to counter moves that are being thrown at you. Oops. Other than that, there's also a uh, tutorial mode. Now this is new, I have not seen this in any of the previous Dead or Alive's, and this is pretty crazy. I haven't actually done any of these, but if this is like your first Dead or Alive, this looks pretty crazy. 
I mean, you have so much tutorial here that will basically teach you how to play this game. I mean, this has 8 steps, 13 steps, and it goes on for a while. You got your beginner test here. So I imagine these will pretty much teach you everything you need to know on this on this game. It's certainly way more detailed than any of the previous ones. Like, look how many steps there are. Holy crap, how many is there? 42. So I imagine by the end of this, you probably have a pretty good idea of what you're doing. So that's pretty impressive in my opinion. I would definitely recommend going through the training before doing things like story, but let's go ahead and take a look at story and uh, see what's going on here. Now in the previous Dead or Lives, uh, usually the way you did story is uh, you would go into the game, you would select a character, and then you would do that character's story. And then after you beat the game, you would do a different character's story, and you would get like costume unlocks and whatnot. And doing the training and such, uh, completing the trainings, uh, you will also unlock costumes and other things like the uh, the voice and whatnot. Uh, but for story on this time around, it's a bit different, and I actually like the way it's done. So I'm only a little ways in. Now here's the the whoops. Actually, I didn't want to jump into that just yet. Uh, let's see here. I want to return to the timeline. We'll skip that real quick, just so we can take a look at this here. Okay, so we got this timeline thing, and basically it starts off up here at this one. And uh, when you start a new game, it basically starts here. And there's like this huge timeline where in like previous Dead or Lives when you went through the story with multiple characters you kind of got a sense that things were happening at different times during the story. Where this one it actually displays where it actually happened in the story. And you can kind of see where things were happening, what was going on, and you can select and go back. Like uh, a little bit before the story I was here. And uh, as you can see, it, it dips down pretty far down in the timeline. And then suddenly we're back here up at uh, number 9, which happened before this event. So I kind of like the way this this goes. It means you can't select what character you want to play. You're just, you just play the character that you're given. And uh, I actually kind of like that a bit more. Because it, it makes the story easier to follow, even though, you know, Dead or Alive isn't really known for its story, but, I mean, it has a bit of story there. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Do we want to do a bit of story? I don't know if you uh, are concerned of spoilers. I know there's not a whole lot going on with the story, and most people are probably playing this for other reasons. Other than that, we have the classic versus mode here, uh, which allows you to do solo matches, tag matches. Exhibition mode. There's a survival mode, uh, which pits you against a stream of opponents. So I believe here is where you can fight uh, along with a person. Yeah, like here we got player number one on controller, which is me, and then we can have player number two on the keyboard. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead with the story. We'll just uh, do this one here. Or we can start over. Let's start over. Well, 
朝通りなかなかやるねだが俺様を倒せるかな思い切りいきますそれでは、今回のゲームは、私たちのゲームは、私たちのゲームは、私たちのゲームは、私たちのゲームは、私たちのゲームは、私たちのゲームは、私たちのゲームは、私たちのゲームは、私たちのゲームは、私たちのゲームは、私たちのゲームは、This is going much worse than my first time here. <laughs> Jeez. You might also notice that the characters sweat, and I guess they can get dirty from the environment if they get knocked around in dirt and whatnot.、Uh, that is also an option you can turn on and off if you、uh, don't like it. そのような報告は聞いていないわ<笑>気に入らねえなありゃあそこいらの人間の仕業じゃねえ出どころはいくつも<笑>大したものねあなただけ戻ってくるなんてとにかくドアテックは関与していません少なくとも今はという言い方あなたは納得できないかしらはなれていったやつらが勝手にやってることだとしたら私には関係ないってかまあいいところでそこのお嬢さんはあんたの使いかアルファ私のクローンは今どこにいるのかすみどこにいるのお願い教えて私の手で終わらせたいの消息不明よドアテックが生み出してしまった究極の戦闘生命体アルファ152そうね必ず見つける約束するわ港に着くまでまだしばらく時間があるわゆっくりしていって。始める気なの。いやー、久しぶりだな、お兄ちゃんの方。エレナが俺に何も。そうね。あんたに合わせたいのがいるとか。俺に合わせて。うん。<笑>心配すんなって多分もう実験とかはされねえからさあれから2年かドアテック本部に忍者軍団突然の乱入ドンパチやってさその頂き地上 999m トライター大炎上っつってな
どうテックエレナが先頭に立って再出発してるぜオライチューと頼まれてな一肌脱いでるってわけさおお着いたぜサビが来てるな海風がいけねえ<笑>なあバースのおっさんよこんな海のど真ん中にそんなもん持ってきやがって<笑>何の役にも立たねえだろうに。国も立たねえとは何事だ娘に謝ってもらおうか全力で来いめんどくせえな So as you can see the story kind of jumps around a little bit It kind of gives you an idea what the uh Okay, Jesus <laughs> Hard to uh, talk and focus fighting. <laughs> I have no idea how to use this guy. As I said, it's been a really long time since I played uh, any of these games. It's been, gosh, so many years. Uh, let's go ahead and try again. I'm certainly doing worse than I did the first time I played this. <laughs> I don't like this guy's fighting style. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
is a pretty damn good deal in my opinion. I mean, most PC games are 50, 60 bucks. So this is like half off from most other games. Uh, the environments certainly don't look the greatest, but the fighting is really good. Uh, I've always enjoyed the uh, the way fighting is in uh, Dead or Alive compared to other games like uh, Tekken and uh, Street Fighter and such. I've never really grasp on to those ones and uh, Dead or Alive was always uh, my choice. Uh, let's do some random verses. So the fighting is fluid. Uh, there's plenty of characters to choose from. Each character has several costumes. We'll just do some randoms here. Even though the game has kind of pretty high specs for the minimum uh, CPU wise, I'm not sure why that is. I'm not seeing any reason why it should be. <laughs> the characters look pretty detailed. I mean, how much do you want out of a fighting game? Is, I think it's always been a great fighting game. It looks good for the most part. Just some of the stages could look better. But I'm probably going to be playing this game for a pretty long time. And uh, if you're looking for online play or to play with a friend, uh, it'll come eventually. You don't have to buy it like, right away. Uh, I believe the they have a discount deal that's going until uh, June. Apparently I got some sort of new title. I don't even know what these titles do. Uh, let's see here. If I do fight again, is it going to choose randoms? Let's try that. Yes. I guess so. <laughs> Ah, uh, John Lee, one of my favorite characters. So yeah, I think it's uh, pretty fun. If you want to see uh, me play more of this game, maybe uh, teach certain combos, I'm sure I'll get there eventually. I am really rusty at this game, I will uh, have to get better eventually. <laughs> I definitely need to uh, relearn the countering system. Seem getting a little dirty there. <laughs> John Wayne newbie. I'm not sure what the uh, difficulty settings are at. Let's see here. I forgot about these. Uh, I am using the classic camera type because uh, that is what I'm used to. I'm not sure what the hit effects are. Uh, let's turn that on. Just to see what that is. Ah, I see. Yeah, that can be a little distracting. There's a lot of special effects in there. Luckily, you can turn that off if you don't like it. And I know there's a lot of people out there It's like, Oh, what about the skimpy outfits and the boobs? 
Well, I've never really been for that, and I am way too focused on the combat to really take notice of that sort of thing. I mean, I don't really care what the character is wearing. I've never really played this because of the female characters. I just, I just like the fighting. I like that pretty much every move you throw out can be countered, can be used against you. Uh, you don't just block attacks. Phase 4. This is a character that's new, so I have no idea what their movesets are. Kind of like Kasumi's by the looks of it. And a bit of a yawn ace, I think. No. Yeah, definitely like Kasumi's. I feel like the, uh, this is definitely on an easier setting, otherwise I would be getting my ass kicked. Phase 4. Let's take a look at the, uh, let's see here. There's gotta be a way to increase the difficulty somehow. Seeing it in here, it's kind of concerning in a way. Change stage, controller. I'm not seeing a way to diff or to uh, increase the difficulty. Because right now it is feeling a little easy, even though I've just picked up the game. Uh, let's see here. Some more options, maybe? Hit effect. So let's turn that back off. Breast motion. <laughs> They're alive, off, natural. I think natural is fine, I guess. Online lag simulation. Play screen, random filter. So this is the random filter, so if you don't like someone. Uh, to be in the random, you can unselect them, which is handy. I mean, there are some characters in there that probably have some pretty cheap moves that probably don't like fighting very much. Maybe you want to remove them from the uh, random roster. Yeah, I'm not seeing a uh, difficulty setting anywhere, which is odd. I know there's difficulty settings in the training, Huh. So that's a setting that should be in there. I'm not seeing where it is. Maybe I'm just being blind. But uh, I don't like that. That seems to be gone. There should have been a way to increase the... Uh... Allow temporary access to locked characters and stages. Huh. Oh, fight settings. Here we go. Okay, here we go. There it is. Calm level. So, yeah, it was set to 2. That's pretty easy. Max health. I usually go with the largest just to, uh... Because I like the fights to go on longer. Uh... Time limit. There's probably a no limit. I personally like no limit because I like to finish the fight when the fight is over. <laughs> so, rounds. You can increase that. So... Usually the best way that I like just getting good at the game is just doing the maximum here. Uh, going going all the way to five rounds. Uh, tag is obviously only going to be for tag battles. 
and to uh, slowly increase the levels here as you get better and better. Like if two is obviously too easy, you can bump it up to three, see how you do there. And uh, keep bumping it up until you find your middle ground. And then just keep practicing there and trying to get better. So it's a... Uh, did I save that? Okay. And another good way to get good at the game is to just keep doing random, because then, uh... I mean, you can have, like, your one character that you're really good at and you practice a lot with, but if you really want to get good at this game, in my opinion, you want to fight pretty much as all the characters. You kind of want to learn their move sets, learn which ones are high kicks, uh, or, you know, high moves and mid and lower, just so you can kind of predict combos and be able to get those counters in a lot easier. It's just been so long since I played that uh, I kind of remember some of them from a lot of the characters. And basically, with like Dead or Alive 3, I can just go random and I can kick ass with any character I, that the game gave me because I just knew all the characters' uh, skill sets. And uh, I haven't gone through the training on all of them just yet. But uh, I'll probably definitely do that and just uh, relearn everything because it's been so long since I played. So that's pretty much been a look at this game. Uh, can I recommend it for 35 bucks? Yeah, I can recommend it. Uh, seems to be running perfectly fine. Controllers work fine. The game looks decent for the most part. I mean, the characters look fabulous. The backgrounds aren't that great, but I mean, you're gonna be more focused on the actual what's going on on the screen than uh, what's going on in the background. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I played Brad Long. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> so if you want to see me do more Dead or Alive, I might live stream this actually. Uh, I know I say I'm going to live stream a lot of things and then never end up live streaming. I will probably live stream this for a, definitely for a friend who's a big fan of Dead or Alive. And uh, I'm just, I'm probably going to be playing a lot of this game as well. So if you maybe need help with a combo or a certain uh, skill or whatever with a certain character, I can certainly try and do like maybe training videos if you would like that. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see me do. I'm certainly still rusty and I'll need to get better at it. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely get there, and I think I'll... It'll just take some relearning. Oh. Ugh. Anyways, so that's been a look at this game. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe. I know I haven't been uh, putting out a lot of videos lately. Uh, I've been meaning to address that. I'll probably be doing a channel update video to uh, explain why that is. Uh, why I haven't been doing a lot of videos. Uh, yeah, let me know if you want more Dead or Alive videos. I will certainly do that. If you want me to play through this, uh, the story mode, I will also do that. And... Uh, Thank you for watching, like, favorite, subscribe, and uh, I will see you next time.